The Unbreakable Word of Faith Ministry is Pastor Isaac on YouTube channel Joe Money. Topic The Faith of the Son of God, Part 16. May 1st, Galatians 2 20. Galatians 2 20. King James Version. I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. What is the faith of the Son of God that the writer, Apostle Paul, lived by? Part 4. You will find out, find out from the Bible that everyone possessed with devil, devils that was brought to Jesus, he cast them out with his word of command, and he does that we are sick. According to Matthew 8, verse 16 and 17. Matthew 8, verse 16. When the evil was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devil, and he cast out the spirit with his word, and he all that we are sick that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Azal the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. This passage, this same passage established the reason of his sources, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Azal the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Wow! The first time I read this passage in, of, of the Bible as a young convert over 20 years ago, I understood what it meant that Jesus Christ, while he was on earth, on this earth, he took my infirmity and bare every of my sicknesses before I was even born. What a marvelous thing. Right there and then, I believe in divine healing, divine health. Praise the Lord. No wonder the scripture says in Isaiah 15, Isaiah 33, 24, that, and the inhabitants shall not say, I am sick. The people that dwell therein shall be forgiven, forgiven their iniquity and the inhabitant shall not say I am sick whenever I feel sick then I often look at these scriptures and wonder why am I sick I will pray and pray confess and confess the word of faith at times the sickness will disappear without taking any form of drugs but at times it will remain. After much frustration, I will take drug. Please do not miss this with divine healing. There is difference between divine health and divine healing, which is if you fall sick, you get healed by his stripes, according to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. 1 Peter 2, 24 by whose stripes we were healed. I will explain it more in my subsequent teaching. You will understand from the from this uh, from the other passage, Matthew 8:17, that our Lord Jesus Christ took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. If he actually took your infirmities, then you don't have any kind of infirmity left on you or any form of demonic problem. If Jesus bear your sicknesses, then, then you do not have any form of sickness left in you to carry in your body anymore because they are with Jesus Christ. Unless you went back and took them back from our Lord Jesus Christ through ignorance or the deception of the devil as 
he did to Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. I, I believe in divine health, a state of not falling sick, a state of not experiencing sickness or infirmity of any form. This is because the Bible did not mention from for once that Jesus was sick or fell sick at any time or any of the apostles of Jesus Christ, including Apostle Paul, falling sick once according to the Bible. But there are provisions for the saints of God if they fell for sick to be healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ according to 1 Peter 2 verse 24 and Isaiah 53 verse 5. 1 Peter 2 24. It says, Who his own self bear our sin in his own body on the cross, on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. Praise the Lord. By whose stripes you were healed. Isaiah 53 verse 5. It says, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our, for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we were you, we are healed with his stripes we are healed praise the lord we are all covered with spiritual comprehensive insurance praise the lord hallelujah however any of the above scripture the scriptural provision without faith you will not enjoy it please note that Faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, according to Romans 10, 17. Please also note that without your meditating on the word of God in that specific area, you are having challenge or you need God's intervention. You will just be praying and confessing without your desired results. May God help us. Don't forget that God told Joshua, and even in Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3, he told Joshua in Joshua 1 8, that he should meditate on the word of God day and night so that he will observe to do according as he is written. Then he shall have good sources. Praise the Lord. I will teach on this missing link of the art of Christian meditation in my future teaching. We will continue on this topic, the faith of the Son of God, past 17, in my next edition. God continue to bless you in Jesus' name. Press the like button so that YouTube will make this video available to more viewers. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Joe Money, and press the bell icon to get notification of my subsequent video edition. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.